Have you been wondering what a build tool is and what it does? Today we're going to answer those questions. Hi, welcome to Automate and to another episode of Software Automation Fundamentals. I'm your host, Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. So the best way I can describe a build tool is by using a Swiss Army knife as an example. We see that this is a multi-purpose tool that has some scissors, a saw, a knife, pliers, a cork screwdriver, and so on. And these are some of the things that we can do with those tools. Let us think for a moment what are some of the things that we must do in order to build an automated test. First, we must write the instructions using a programming language of our choice. These instructions are known as the source code. This source code must then be compiled into machine code, also known as object code. This is nothing but ones and zeros that the computer can understand. Once this is done, then we can execute our test on a browser. So the key takeaway here is that a build tool automates this entire process. Going back to the Swiss Army knife example, on the left are some of the things that this tool allows us to do. And on the right is what we can do with the build tool. Now, there are many build tools out there. This is just a handful of them. It wouldn't be fair for me to say that one is better than another. You're just going to need to find the one that works for you. Now, the next time you hear someone say, I'm working on a Maven project, or a Gradle project, you will know that they're referring to the build tool that they're using. Thanks so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one.